Hello, welcome to Biograd TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Kenan Sodindo Banana Kenan Sodindo Banana was born on the 5th of March 1936 near Essexville, now Esigodini, in Zimbabwe, then Southern Rhodesia. He attended the local Mizunyati Mission School and then went on to complete his secondary education at Teguani High School in Plumtree. He later studied at a teacher training institute and subsequently got a diploma in theology at Epworth Theological College in Salisbury, Harare. He got ordained as a United Methodist minister in 1962 and worked as a minister, visiting chaplain and school administrator. In 1969, he was elected chairman of the Bulawayo Council of Churches, an office he held for two years. He also chaired the Southern African Content Group, part of the All Africa Conference of Churches Urban Industrial Ministry between 1970 and 1973. He was also a member of the Advisory Committee of the World Council of Churches during this time. In the 1960s and 1970s, Banana began expressing his sentiments against the colonial administration and was active in anti-colonial politics. From the pulpit, he began speaking against Rhodesia's white minority regime and preached a form of black liberation theology. He went on to publish a book entitled The Gospel According to the Ghetto, which included a personalized version of the Lord's Prayer that goes thus. Our Father who art in the ghetto, degraded is your name. Thy servitude abounds, thy will is mocked, as by in the sky. Teach us to demand our share of gold. Forgive us our docility as we demand our share of justice. Lead us not into complicity. Deliver us from our fears. For ours is the sovereignty, the power and the liberation forever and ever. Amen. In 1971, the British government came to an agreement with Ian Smith, who was the Premier of Rhodesia, to work out a transition to majority rule in exchange for an end to sanctions against Rhodesia. In response, Banana, along with a fellow Methodist cleric, Bishop Abel Muzorewa, formed the United African National Council UANC, which opposed the settlement. The proposed referendum was thereafter withdrawn and the UANC grew in prominence and was seen as a national political party. At some point in the late 1960s, the UANC began facing persecution with several of its leaders arrested. Banana along with his wife and children fled to Botswana and later to Japan where he studied at Kansai University in Osaka. Later on, he moved to the United States of America where he served as the UANC representative to the US and the United Nations. While in the US, he obtained a Master of Theology degree from the Wesley Theological Seminary in 1975. When Banana returned to Rhodesia in 1975, he left the UANC where he was Vice President from 1971 to 1973 and joined the Zimbabwe African National Union ZANU Party led by Robert Mugabe. Mugabe's militant party was solely committed to overthrowing the Iron Smith administration. In December of 1976, he was arrested for his involvement with the ZANU party, but he was later released when a new British governor was appointed in the person of Christopher Swarms. In 1980, when Rhodesia finally gained independence and renamed Zimbabwe, Banana became the first president while Robert Mugabe served as prime minister. Given his rather unique surname, Banana, he was always the subject of jokes and jests. This prompted a law to be passed in 1982 which forbade citizens to make jokes about his name. After serving in that office for seven years, his largely ceremonial office was taken over by Mugabe who made himself the executive president. Banana became a diplomat for the Organization of African Unity as well as head of the religious department at the University of Zimbabwe.
In 1997, his good reputation as a politician received a big blow when he was charged with sodomy. The discovery was made when one of his former bodyguards was on trial for murdering another officer who was called Banana's homosexual wife. Banana was charged for sexually harassing officials under him, though he denied the allegations, insisting homosexuality was devious and evil and something he could never practice. He said the allegations were an attempt to destroy his political career. Upon being released on bail, he escaped from the country to South Africa. He insisted Mugabe planned to kill him. However, after speaking with Nelson Mandela, who encouraged him to go face the ruling, he returned to Zimbabwe in December 1998. He was tried upon his return and found guilty and sentenced to 10 years imprisonment on January 18, 1999. But of the 10 years imprisonment, nine years were suspended. He served six months before being released in January 2001. Following the sex scandal, he was also relieved of his clerical rank. Banana died in November 2003. He was 67 years old at the time of his death, leaving behind his wife, Janet, and four children, Michael Thabo, Nathan Sifo, Martin Mambi Salam, and Nobule Beauty. What have we missed out of this biography of Banana? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.